Hey guys, Crystal Page Sky here, and welcome back to the Let's Play Magna Carta 2. And guess who fixed the screen and now has full screen just for you guys? This game is beautiful now, and everything is perfect in this Let's Play. It's all perfect. It's all perfect, and I totally forgot what we were supposed to be doing right now. What? What are we doing? Let's find out. I forgot. <laughs> okay. What? I did this? What is this? Oh, what? Wait, I totally... <laughs> I forgot what I'm supposed to do! Let me just check my map then. Oh, wrong button for the map. Here's the map. Okay, map, by the way, is the back button. Oh, we need to go way over there. Well, that's awkward. Let us magically teleport there. I guess. Maybe I'll cut there. Uh, hi, opposite. Look at these kids. Haha, <laughs> you demon, you. This way. Come back. <laughs> I almost want to count that as a stereotypical RPG element because there's usually always two kids that are just running around at some place. Maybe I will. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I'll probably just teleport you there. I should be playing judo, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, fine, I'll play judo. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Because judo's the main character. And, you know, that new outfit. Whoa. Okay, what's up? You have good items? Prove it. Oh, you have crap items. I'm leaving. Wait a second. I'm totally. Oh, goodness. I missed a lot of stuff. Let's go in. Wait a second. Am I? What? What? Oh my god, I went to the wrong place. I'm an idiot. We're actually supposed to go to this one. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, fools, let me pass. This is where we're supposed to be. Now look at all these people training so hard. Um, guys? I don't... I don't... I don't think it's gonna do much. But okay. Whatever floats your boat. Look at them! They're all the same people! Sweet. Oh, um, okay. But this is just. No wonder we're losing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're actually not that bad. But. They're all the same person secretly. It's like the friggin' stormtroopers. Oh no, did I just make that reference? I think I did. Whoa. Okay. Oh, huh. is this epic cutscene that I think it is? Yay. Cutscene. As I'm sure you are all aware, the princess was researching the Guardian on Highwind Island. Yes, we are aware. Have we met Raoud before? He? Nope, guess we haven't. Thanks for asking, Judo. Because Raoud is awesome. Raoud, a doddering old blowhard. No, Crisel. That's the only thing that I disagree with him. Although she was unable to Raoul ascertain the awesome. method by which sentinels are constructed, her research did uncover the sentinel's weak spot. She determined that sentinels, as with the Guardian, have been implanted with comment. He's only telling this to Juto, apparently. Commando, for lack of a better word, acts as their Com heart. Come on. Commando? Commando? What? Destroy its comment. And the sentinel's life support functions will cease. Its capabilities will then rapidly decline, and eventually, it will die. It's kind of sad. Until now, the southern forces have been hard pressed, but much more effective campaigns should now be possible. This is entirely thanks to the princess's valiant efforts. Oh, Raoud, please. It's been one pathetic battle after another for far too long. It's nice to hear some good news. 
Officer, why are you wearing that helmet thing inside here where it's all guarded? Uh, never mind. Even so, will there be a dramatic turn in the tide of battle for the better just because we've uncovered their weak spot? You can be sure that the Northern forces are well aware that commons are the Sentinel's weak spots and have installed devices to protect them. Nevertheless, I believe there's a difference between fighting a battle while knowing the enemy's weakness and while not knowing. Right you are, Princess. <laughs> However, I can count on the fingers of one hand the number of times that the counter-sentinel unit that was founded on your proposal has done any proper fighting. Excuse me, random officer that now doesn't have a helmet on. Which is apparently different from that other guy, but... Ugh. I hate recycled characters. It has been defeated by events beyond its control on countless occasions. Hey. Early on, we won by dint of sheer numbers. But we have now lost nearly half of those forces. Perhaps we would be better served by taking this opportunity to develop weapons capable of directly attacking the Sentinel's command. But wait a second. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So wait a sec. Okay, wait. Let's just let's just think about this theoretically for a little bit because I'm a bit of a game thinker. I like to call myself. Okay, so if they actually did create something that could destroy a comment, that would be dangerous for themselves too because wizards use commons and on their weapons and. I mean, the characters, they use commons on their weapons, and, every, like, why would you try to create something that would destroy... Co okay, maybe you could try and make something that would destroy just specifically a sentinel's common, but it could have side effects. I'm not sure what I'm... Okay, whatever. There's not a human alive that cannot help but feel an instinctive terror when they are confronted by a sentinel. It's for that reason that we found ourselves so hard-pressed. However, my unit has been constantly training, learning ways to suppress Your that Your unit fear. also only has, well, previously only had three people. Now it has judo. I'm not even sure that judo really should count. Now that we have learned their weakness, this is the perfect There's chance actually to put my four unit's abilities to the test. five, but that's a spoiler. Perhaps, but losses to date have been massive. Meaning no offense. But it seems to me that your unit is being maintained solely out of egotism on your part, Princess. She's the princess, for God's sake. She's allowed to have ego. <laughs> Question mark? Watch it, Gramps. Who do you think you're talking to? Yeah, Crosella, you tell him. Crosella, keep quiet. The audience will refrain from further outbursts. Audience. I cannot allow this statement to go unanswered. Hey, you, you got that, subscribers? No more outbursts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not at all. Always Please, outbursts, guys. Continue. I don't... What am I talking about? In that case, I will speak frankly. To all appearances, your unit no longer serves any worthwhile purpose. How rude. Which means that we should rather develop anti-sentinel weaponry. I had proposed as much before this incident, but it was rejected on the rationale that your counter-sentinel unit was being formed. But if you decide to develop weapons, it will cost a great deal of time and money and manpower. We have none to spare. Um, wow. It's kind of sad that she's the one who has to point that out. Like, seriously, shouldn't they be thinking of the money and stuff, and sh Ugh. The good news is she's a really good princess because she's thinking of all this, so she doesn't exactly live up to the cliché, you know, like, empty-headed princess. Although she is pretty empty-headed about other things, but... I find it kind of sad that these other characters don't think about that. Oh, princess. Many lives are being lost due to your ego. Are you saying that time and money mean more to you than their lives? Whoa, what? what? I'm sorry, your argument doesn't make any sense to me. 
<laughs> Can someone please explain? That does it! Yeah, Chrysel, you punch him down with your fire. Have you people ever set foot on a battlefield? Oh, judo, ju no, judo, judo, ju judo, don't, don't make a fool. You tell Yeah, yeah, you tell him, Zephy. And who might you be? Uh, judo, shh. You, you've barely... This is Juto. You've barely been on the... He was assigned to the okay, counter-sentinel okay. unit the other day. He's barely been on the battlefield. He has no right to say that either. The young man they say defeated the Guardian. That's me. Guardian? As I understand it, the Guardian on Highwind Island was already in a weakened state. Whoa, bro. Way to tramp on my glory. This man could be anyone, and you let him join our army over a trivial matter? Um, well, I kind of bribed her. I mean, what? I hope for your sake this man isn't a Northern Forces spy. Whoa. 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 What? What? A trivial matter? You people do nothing but sit here in comfort and hold meetings! But, Judo... Oh. You'd go that far, eh? In that case, let's see what you can do. Defeat a sentinel for us. Fine, I will. Because <coughs> I'm emu, and I accept challenges. What's the matter? Where did the fire in your belly go? Stop this! Juto is... Sure, you got it. I'll take out a sentinel for you. Oh no. Juto! Ha! Huh. Very well. If you should defeat a sentinel in the upcoming battle, I will admit to being rude and will apologize. Now, now, gentlemen, let's all remain calm. Let's let cooler heads prevail. But hotter heads are always much more fun. Like Crocelle. <laughs> the upcoming battle in Old Fox Canyon is even more crucial than usual. And only now do they mention it, okay. As we are all painfully aware, this is an all-or-nothing situation for our army. Really? Hmm. I want you all to go into this battle, thinking of it as our final conflict. Whoa, what? What? Alex, why? That's not very encouraging. This time, let us breach the Gate of Wailing and slay the enemy general, Sion Regral! Juto, you went too far in there. Argo always points out the obvious. Well, not obvious, but the truth. So what? You're saying what they did back there was right? I l in the background, you can see them all, like, staring at him, like, um... Like, Crocelle's got his hand on his hip, like, are you serious? Zephy's like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Zephy was the one who let you join. When you speak out like that, it puts her position at risk. I didn't mean to. Judah's like, what? My love interest, I'm sorry. I mean, what? Why not? He was like a breath of fresh air to me. <laughs> huh? You know, I had you pegged as thick-headed, but you can be pretty sharp sometimes. Keyword, sometimes. What? Judo's like, wait, wait, this guy, this guy is, what? You know, I've never liked General Headquarters either. Now I'm being thick-headed and I'm not realizing that he's being, you know, he's complimenting me. They do nothing but talk and never set foot on a battlefield. Crocelle! <laughs> but they got under your collar too, didn't they, Princess? Face it. Those guys always ignore us. Whoa, wait a second. Why would they... What? She's the freaking princess. The whole reason why they're fighting is because they're fighting for her. I'm so confused. Why would they ignore her? Yes, but there are some things you shouldn't say out loud. Zephy reminds me of my mom. <sighs> All right. And Crocell reminds me of me. <laughs> the same goes for you, Juto. <laughs> Do you have any idea how rude it was to do what you did in the General Headquarters Council Chamber? This is Abazet. You're not on Highwind Island anymore. But, but wait just a minute. They were the ones who were trying to pick up. Are you talking back to your superior Ooh, officer? Snap! My... My apologies, 
princess. And one more thing. If you ever take the words out of my mouth again, you'll regret it. Ooh, Zephy's laying down the law. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Judah's like, oh, God. All right, everyone. I'm sure by now you've all figured out what the General Headquarters staff have in mind. During no, this operation, let's force them to acknowledge our value, whether they want to or not. If they decide to put everything they've got into weapons development, it will cost additional funds, time, and lots of people. The war is going badly enough as it is. This will cause innocent people to suffer even more than they are right now. Considering how loudly you spoke up in there, I take it that you're ready and willing to fight, Juto? Of course. <laughs> Juto's like, of course. Let's give it our best, everyone. Okay. Come what may, we'll win the battle at Old Fox Canyon. Pack your gear like you mean it. This time, we'll open the Gate of Wailing. We have to avenge Kaito. Whoa, wait a second. What? Okay, sorry. I just have to... Whoa. Wow. That was... That was... That was deep, Crusoe. Juto, this will be your first time in a large-scale operation, so don't try anything crazy. I won't die, no matter what. <laughs> Not until I settle things with Elgar. That's an interesting thing to say. I won't right. die. That's the spirit. Our unit's directive has always been absolutely do not die. Remember that. I like that directive. Let's win and rub it in their faces. <laughs> yes, princess. <laughs> Let's rub it in their faces. She was tougher than anyone else. She'd never do anything to expose her weakness to others. I had begun to admire her for that. Love interest, love interest, love interest. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. Once you're ready, let's set out for Old Fox Canyon. Okay. That reminds me, you should perform enhancements on your weapons before we leave. Okay. Enhancements? I. Oh no. Duto, do you know about enhancements? Are they going to explain it to me? Ah, uh, yes, I know. Yes, I do. I see. Well, I'll send you an explanation of enhancements via cube, just in case. It feels so great to be able to skip all this. All right. Once you've finished getting ready, let's go to the city gates. All right. If we talk to the soldiers waiting at the entrance, we'll be able to get passage straight out to the canyon aboard a freighter called a Karma. Karma. Okay. I think that's a very good place to end off this part. Maybe a bit shorter than usual because I have to cut out a bunch of stuff like me being like, oh, where am I supposed to go? But let's just take a look at all these really spectacular characters. Oh man, that design. Oh, and that design and that. Wait, that's the same design. What? Wait, it's three of the same people. Ah! There's even more of them! Like I said, it's the freaking stormtroopers or whatever. Recycle characters, whatever you want to do. Every single RPG has it, so cliche. Anyway. Um no, you know what? I'll do enhancements in this episode and explain it. No, it's gonna take a while to explain. So just let's just look at this pretty light where I don't have any shadow. I will see you guys in the next part. Oh wait. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'll look at those in the next episode. So yeah, see you guys in the next episode!